Good evening, Bob here, and I'm probably to present to you a classy Canada Day Deluxe Edition with Fine Truck Treasures. Well, here is your host of the video, Reese Nivo. Hello, I am your host, Reese Nivo. You guys are enjoying these videos, finding great ideas for Canada Day as it is coming to a close. Are we all ready? And pretty soon we'll be hitting the books in September for the back to school stuff. As it is, there's still more uh, trick ideas that I'd like to show you. In this video, you can be seeing very classy tricks, find treasures in this video. As it is, let's get to it. Okay, so let's get to our first one up, and that is the appearing can the flags trick. Here is the performance. You can see here, watch this. That's that. You can see I've got four of them. How is this return? It's up to reveal the secret behind this very unique treasured trick. Here's what you'll be needing for kind of the flag. Um, toothpicks that you see here. And you're going to tape it onto your thumb with a little bit of scotch tape. Okay, what you're going to do is because these are a little bit more bigger than from your, your regular your regular ones. So you might want to um, put them together just like this. And I kind of tucked them under like this. <laughs> so that way they become invisible. And all I gotta do is jump in something like this and catch it just like that. Okay, so from here, and then that. Then, then after you, you do that, you can take the flags and just give, give them a little separation. And after, if, you know, no, here's something after the tick is done. Very easy to just take them out. After. And give them to a couple of your friends. And that is how you do the appearing kind of flags trick. Now for our second one, which is the magical Canada leaf in you know, pin chamber trick. Here is the performance. Okay, you can see here. Here's the, uh, the chamber. Watch this. I'm going to create this. Watch this. Now I'm going to close with this. Watch this. I'm going to get a squeeze. And watch. You can see there's a leaf pin inside of the chamber. And take it out. I'll take it out so you guys can get a closer look at it. Up close. How is this trick done? But but to reveal the secret behind this very awesome fine trick. All you need for this trick is the leaf pin here and it comes in this box. You can pick this up I have a buck or two close next to you. It's a very very it looks actually just like a treasure. Right? Okay, what you're gonna do with this trick is you're going to actually take it out of the box. Be careful with it so you don't lose it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it into your fingers just like this. So you hold it like that. You're going to show the chamber empty. You're going to place this in like this. So it looks like it looks like that. So they don't think that you're putting it in. From here I'm going to uh, close quickly. Then you're going to put your hand over into the palming position and you squish 
when you hear that rattle sound, brush away and to have the leaf pin appearing in the chamber. And that is how you do the magical Canada leaf pin chamber trick. Now all for a third one down and that is the Canada glow stick trick. Here is the performance. Okay, you can see here. Watch this. I got this nice stick here. I'm going to have to put this around my neck. So I take this hat off now. I'll we'll put it back on after. Uh, watch this. Okay, so as as it is, you know how this is done. It's pretty simple. And it's very easy to do. All you'll need is a stick, just like this one here. All you gotta do is just snap and break it, and then you give it a little shake, and it comes with uh, some a lot uh, some black band around it to wear upon your neck. And it comes with a cap that you can put on to the top just like this. And then we get this little cute little thing that also will go in here as well too. It's just like this. What you're going to do is going to leave it in the inside and hold it so they don't see it glowing. They get to see, they get to see the, the top. Now we got to do, just put it here. You're going to show you're gonna the top. You're going to actually snap your fingers, you're going to pull, and it will glow. As it is going to see in the dark, so what, what it looks like, I'll turn off the lights. And I'll show you this one whole stick. And this is also perfect for going to candidate parties in the dark, especially when you're watching the fireworks. And that is that. You put it inside here. This also can let... This goes well too. It's a pretty nifty, uh, pretty nifty thing to get yourself for Canada Day. And that is how you do the Canada glow stick trick. For our fourth one down, which is the Happy Birthday singing candle trick. Here is the performance. So you can see I got my uh, red candle here. I'm gonna put this into this nice, awesome hole here. I'm going to use my Canada lighter. Watch this. Okay, so how's this done? But to reveal the secret behind this, it's a very classy one. I'm going to teach you how this is done. Okay, all you'll need is the singing candle. Now you can find this in your party section in the mall, and that's this what you see right here. This candle holder that you see right here has a button down here that you go with this, and it and it does that, right? And it also comes with a candle. And again, having your Canada uh, lighter to go with it. So how to orchestrate this? All you gotta do is put your finger down to here, so you can flick it, flick it as you light the candle, like this. So you stick it in. You, you light it, and you flick you flick it, and it turns itself on by lighting the candle. And then to turn it off, it's quite simple. Hold it here, as it blow off the candle. And then it stops the singing. For those who want to see the package, this is the package you're looking for.
And that is how you do the happy birthday singing candle trick. Now for our fifth one down, that is the Canada Day money chain trick. Here is the performance. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the coins I have. I got um, a dime, a five cents, all Canada, and same with the 25 cents, the dollar, and the, pe the penny that has the leaves on it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into a black bag and have these onto a chain. Can see I have my chain in my hand. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put the chain in first into the bag. Okay, so I put the chain into the bag. Now I'm gonna take my 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 money that I just showed you. First, put well, I'm gonna first put in. My penny into the bag, and then my dime. No, my uh, five cents into the into the bag. Next, my dollar. My twenty-five cents, and my dime. All into that bag. Watch this. I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna reach in now. And see what has happened. You can see they link together on a chain. You can see. How was this trick done? So I'm going to reveal the secret behind this very crafty, classy trick right now. Okay, so here's what you'll need. You'll need a chain that has all the coins on. You can get this beautiful um, dollar store, the mall, in the Canada Day section. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you take a look at these coins that you see on the chain and base it onto the chains that you see here. A, a loony the five cent and again it says C Canada on them as well too all of them say Canada as well too as well as the 25 cent also says Canada as well even the um, dime also says Canada on it as well as the penny as well too and of course, the only need is a black, uh, a black, a pouch, something like this. Depends on what kind of pouch you're, you're looking at: white, red, or black, like what you see right here. Okay, so we want to make sure that that you have the chain. So this is going to be palmed into your hand, and all you're doing is you're going to hold the chain up a little bit like this. That way, you see a little bit of the chain, not the change. Okay. And the keychain is all too. So what you're gonna do is gonna bunch this up into your hand. You're gonna put this into the bag like this. Be careful of not exposing the chain. So make sure that you're holding it just like this, and then just putting it right into your pouch. Then with your change, you're going to put that into the bag as well too. It doesn't matter um, what you what you put into the bag as well. So once that's done, you can either use the uh, laces and tie it up. That's like what you see right there. And all you gotta do is just give it a little shake. Snap at the fingers, magical ge gesture, and the magic has happened. From here, you open the bag like this. And you're gonna go to the chain. And showing the, the chains that you put in on to the chain that you see right here. And that is how you do the Canada Day money chain trick. And now for our sixth one, which is the Canada Bill erases trick. 
or is the performance. You can see, got this one eraser, one eraser here. Watch this. I'm gonna go like this, and it's now completely I changed that one into a 50. And again, watch this, and now change that into the hundred dollar bill. And again, you can see the the eraser here. This is a really cool trick that you can get yourself into. I'm going to teach you this secret right now. So this trick you'll need is the money eraser. So you can put this up in the Canada section as well too. Um, and again, this can erase pencils well too. So it's a pretty it's a pretty crafty one as well too. And what you see here is it is the uh, 50. It's also Canada. The 20 is also Canada, and the 100 is also Canada as well too. What it's going to do is we're going to keep them together like this with the heads, and them all together into a sandwich like, like this. Hold it in a way that it looks like one with your pa with your palm. It's very easy to palm. Hold, move away this one into your pocket as they get to see the first one and the second one and again repeat that same thing for the other one and then all you're doing is just dishing it into your pocket but they're more focused on what is up here you can show the back and the front of the eraser and after this trick is done go and erase some pencil marks And now for our seventh one, and that is the kind of flag paper design trick. Here is the perform the performance. Okay, so first, here's the design of the kind of flag on my paper here that I just printed off for this video. As it is, let's take a look at the fridge. What I'm going to actually do is we can actually take this off of the paper and on to the fridge. Check this out. First thing I gotta do is just like completely just turn this over like this. The paper. Watch this. Then go like this. Watch. Right off the sheet of paper. You can take a closer look and look at it. It's right here. You want to know how this trick is done? It's about to reveal the secret behind this. Okay, so here's what you'll, what you'll need. A white sheet of paper. And what's on here is actually a, f a fridge magnet. You're going to make it look like it's actually from the sheet by putting it on. Because of the white and how it looks, you're going to press it on like this. Holding it nice and tight and tightly so it looks like a design on the sheet of paper. You're gonna hold it. And as you turn it over, you're gonna actually flip this over like that. So that this one here, this side here, will be applied to the the freezer in the back of me. Then from here, you're gonna place this on to here, and you're gonna rub it on pretty quickly, and take it away brushing it down like that and then it's mounted on to the freezer after it's done so the white sheet of paper from back and front watch them be surprised that they saw the design on the paper and end up on your freezer and that is how you do the kind of flag paper design trick now for our eighth one and that is the Canada Day red bracelet trick. Here is the performance. Okay, you can see my bracelet here. Watch this. You can see? Watch this. Watch. Not yet. Watch. Does that. Again, I can now 
Just now change it to a new setting, a different setting, just by doing that. And now the final one here, I can get turn off. How is this return? But to reveal the secret behind this very interesting trick. Okay, so here's what you'll need. You'll need a, a, a bracelet, um, can a bracelet. As it is, there's a button back here. You can't, you can't even see it. Because it's all red. This is perfect. So you can take a look at here and back here. You know, if it's on like this, and do you change it? that. What it's going to do is going to have your hand over as you are, cl are clicking back here. That way to get to see all different speeds in the final. Then just turn it off. Just like that. And that is how you do the Canada Day Red Bracelet trick. Now for our ninth one, which is the Raining Sparkles from Fan Trick. Here is the performance. So see the sparkles raining down? How is this trick done? To reveal a secret behind this. Here is how it's done. All you'll need for this trick is a fan. And your red sparkles. You're gonna put, put a little bit in your hand. Close your fist. Add the fan open. So as the fanning, you're gonna dump the sparkles into the fan like this. And it'll start to rain. Now it's entirely up to you, but you can put a little bit more into your palm of your hand and do that fan and get more coming out. And now for our up, which is the bracelet maker trick. Here is the performance. And this one because it's also fun. Making designs, whatever. It's a pretty interesting thing they could do for Canada Day. It's a very simple trick. All you can do is uh, gotta do is break these things like this. As you can see here, you're gonna get this a shake. And it'll start to glow. And then I gotta do is just stick this onto here like this. And you're good to go breaks and goes right into a bracelet just like this which is also a really good thing you could do for our Canada today especially if you're watching the fireworks and having fun festive time now when you can do tip you can Join them together to make it even bigger. You can even make a necklace out of it too. Also be fancy and go like this. It's all too on your head as well. And that is how you do the bracelet maker trick. And now, here's the last one up. Which is, uh, uh, number 11, the red flowers garland magic trick. Here is the performance.
How's this take on? I gotta do is just hide these these into your palms so it's completely empty. Go in a few times, one like this, a few times, and then from here, release that one again, so empty, again that same thing again with this hand, and from here, and just magically make that up here. And that is how you do the red flowers garland magic trick. If you're doing anything, if you're watching.